Hey y'all, it's Mocha Mima. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're back for more shenanigans, thanks. Did y'all like and subscribe? Hit on that bell button. Make sure the bell turns black because we always bet on black over here. That way you get on all the notifications. Remember the thoughts, views, topics, opinions expressed here in this video are those of Mocha Mima, which is me, and for entertainment purposes only. And the commentary is all alleged. Now, y'all, I was on Instagram today and I see this sad story from November of 2022 about a grandmother in Florida just that forgot her granddaughter was in her hot car. Now, this is just months after from like the year before or so that the grandson she was babysitting for drowned while she was watching him. Now, this is from People Magazine. I'm going to link the um, article down in the description box. Now, this lady, Tracy Nix, 65 years old, was watching her granddaughter, Uriel, um, her grandson, or granddaughter, Uriel, I'm getting it mixed up, but y'all read the thing. Anyway, she was watching the granddaughter, and she left the granddaughter in the hot car. This was back in November. And with the windows rolled up, while she practiced piano inside her house in Wachula, Florida, right? Now, I guess her husband, she forgot about the baby. Her husband went out there and found the baby in the car. I guess he tried to do um, CPR, and he couldn't revive the, the poor child. And um, the lawyer gave a sounds like a flippant real flippant matter of fact answer was like just because someone dies doesn't necessarily mean someone has to pay sir this was her grandchild after she had done it like the year before to the other grandchild and um the mother was you know like the the mother her name is Kayla is is quoted as saying to think the last moments of her life as a mother is gut-wrenching. She said she asked her mother to babysit while she was going to get her hair done. Er, let's stop the car right there. Tito, put the car in park and stop right there. First of all, when the first child died in the mother's care, the mother wouldn't be watching no more of my kids, especially no more of my little kids. Now, the other child that passed away was in 2021. They said it was right before Christmas. It was 16-month-old Ezra, who reportedly drowned in a nearby lake while the mother, Tracy, was sleeping. Now, first of all, you fall asleep with a toddler that's 16 months old, like you can't, these toddlers, these, let me tell you, these kids will get a chair, will do anything, get up there and get out the house. So you really can't even be sleeping around these kids. You got to make sure everything's locked, double locked. You got to almost have somebody extra in the house. Like you sit, you got to have a lot going on with, with these toddlers. So it's like, that right that right there alone, okay, the first one, it was a mistake. The child could have gotten out the house. But not even a year later would I even want to trust my mother with a second child. There's no way. There's no way. I, it wouldn't have been me. And that, I, 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 couldn't have, I couldn't have excused my mother. There would be no talking to me. There would, there would be nothing. There would be nothing at all. And I mean, maybe she thought because... Um, Uriel was only seven months old that maybe, you know, the child couldn't do, mu mu couldn't do much. I mean, a seven month old can crawl at best, roll around, but your mother leaves the child in the car and goes in the house to do whatever and playing piano. Ma'am, you know, is, is there an Alzheimer's thing coming in 
Is there some some challenges with her mind coming in? I mean, she's 65 years old. 65 is fairly young. That's just a few years older than, than what I am. But still, like you have to have, when, you, when you're taking care of kids, you have to have presence of mind. And my grandkids are even older, knock on woods. I have presence of mind with them. Even though I'm in one room, they're in the other. I'm constantly checking on them when it gets um, Egan gets quiet, like I'll go in there and make sure my grandson, if you know, if he's playing the PlayStation and I don't hear him because he's usually yelling, screaming with his friends and whatnot, I go in there, check and make sure even sometimes he might fall asleep sitting in the chair. I'll go in there and make sure he's sitting up, he's not leaned over because sometimes kids lean over and their breathing area area can get blocked like anything can happen so i'm constantly going and checking listen i even check when they spend the night at my house i check during the night on them because i just get worried and get scared and and that's part of being a parent you know and whatnot you just can't just you i, I just i just get nervous and and part of it is but you know watching lifetime movies and hearing about stories and all that kind of stuff you just you just got to be aware. You just got to keep your head on a swivel, especially when it comes to little kids. Like, I don't get it. And, and I mean, she had just lost the other child like the year before this happened with her mother and her mother's negligence, allegedly. And then you're going to go and trust her with the set. Like, you can't. You can't. And, and, I mean, she's been charged with aggravated manslaughter. So... You know, I'm going to watch this story. I mean, people's just reporting on it now. They're just reporting on it um, yesterday. It was in People's Magazine from yesterday. They have the cute little picture of, of the little baby up here. So, um, you know, we'll see, you know, if, if I hear more reports on it, I'll, um, I'll post those for you guys. But it's just a shame. Like, in, and I know the, the grandmother probably is you know she's probably going through her own you know personal struggles knowing that two of her grandchildren died you know from for, for her per of her negligence and everything and, and no matter how much her lawyer or anyone else may tell her it's not her fault like she has to be beating herself up on the inside knowing that she caused these things had they not been in their care in her care they would still be alive like this whole thing is it, it, it's crazy. Like it, it's real. Like that's just sad, you know. And I'm curious to say what the father, you know, of these children have to say. So I'm gonna look around and and see if I see more um, articles about this. I'll check some of the Florida papers in that area. But I just had to put this video out there because when I saw it, it just really, just really shocked me. And, um, you know, just a, a send an extra prayer for this family, love and light to them for losing these two two babies and whatnot. And with that, y'all, um, make sure you like, subscribe, click on the bell buttons for the uploads. You know, make sure the button turns black because we bet on black over here. And um, with that, y'all, um, it's Saturday. Have a good rest of your Saturday, and I will see you soon. Peace.